Hey there. I thought I would take you guys along on a little video that I have, uh, or a machine that I have here. This here is one of the lawn boys, and it's a brick top. I'll shut off my radio. The brick top is uh, pretty old. Some of them were built uh, in the 80s, I think. There were some also built in the 60s. And this one here, I believe, was built in the 60s because of this air filter and the carburetor. Uh, I took the carburetor apart, and I'll show you how it all hooks up in just a bit. But I have a pair of scissors here to get out this here. It's called an element. Um, the ones that we have now are, I don't want to break it. The ones we have now, they're made of um, sponges. <laughs> I call it a sponge, but ooh, uh, it's a filter. Uh, so that's the inside of this here portion of the carburetor, and I hope you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I started taking this apart, and I thought, well, why don't I make a video and kind of show people a little bit about it. A lot of the people that watch the Lawn Boy videos already know what they're doing with the Lawn Boy, but I thought it would be kind of cool to um, kind of take other people through this. Okay, so um, that there is uh, where the air filter goes, and there's a screen in there too. And then this here is the carburetor. Set that up. This is the float, and it works really good. This is a little screen that goes over the carburetor. You don't want any uh, anything to go in there. Uh, cat hair, dirt, you name it. It can it can just mess up your mower. So that needs to be cleaned out. This is a rebuilt engine. The gentleman who rebuilt this did an excellent job, and he cleaned everything. I mean, this this engine. Look at how clean this engine looks. It's amazing. It really is. And I hope you guys can really see what's going on here. This here inside is the piston, and that kind of gets things going. So I'm going to show you that in just a minute. Before I do, this, the smell of this actually brings me back to my childhood. When I was a kid, I grew up in Massachusetts, and my dad would take us to Battleship Cove a lot, which is in Fall River, Mass, or Fall River. And um, we would hang out there and see ships, battleships, um, submarines, and John F. Kennedy's PT boat is also there. And Well, it was when I was a kid. I don't know if it still is. But the smell is like going down in those battleships in where all the, the engines and everything were. And I didn't know why, but uh, last summer my husband told me that's because that was like a two-stroke smell. It's that gas and oil mix. And it really does smell good. Reminds me of home. But I'm going to put this back together. I have the screen in there. Put the felt. Now this here is a booger to put back together too. Let me grab my glasses so I can see a little bit better. I'm going to put there. You got to kind of, and then it has this little tabby thing sticking out on me. All right, you got to put this in, and just be careful not to pinch your nails be, or your fingers because it does hurt. <laughs> Let me get that in first. These are really cool old engines, and we do sell them on eBay. We sell them to customers around here. Let me see if I can get that. Come on. Ah. Uh, it holds the screen in, it holds the filter in, but there. Boy, that's hard to get there. So, that's in. Now the carburetor has a cover. You need your filter, or excuse me, your um, a gasket. You put your gasket on, and the gasket will seal it up good. Even, even an old gasket works really well. So, we have an old gasket on, and let's make sure this is going on correctly. make sure my gasket's on correctly. There. I had it upside down. There are holes in it. And you got to kind of line up the holes. So, and then these just screw in. Just 
like that. It's a good old engine. Goes on a lawn boy mower. Works great. And I want to show you over here the piston. The piston moves up and down like this when you move uh, either the, the recoil or uh, this shaft here, which the blade would go on here. It's hard to move this one because it's so small. I have another one over there, and I'll show you in just a minute, but that one's a little bit bigger. There. It's got good suction. I hope you can hear that. It's hard to move, but I'm hoping, and I have my little thing here to see what you can see, but I, I still really can't tell what you're seeing. I'm hoping you're going to be able to see this really well. I'm going to move the, the recoil. There. There, everything moves really good. And inside is the flywheel, and that hooks up to the recoil. Oh, that is really heavy, too. But that's, that's the Lawn Boy brick top. Oh boy, and we will be listing this on eBay. Like I said, I'm not really sure of the year, but I'm thinking this one here is probably made in the 60s, but I'm not positive. The, the engine, oh, here, wait a minute here. This engine is a D404, and I've actually never seen this part of the engine, and I think that's the, the bottom half of the engine. I've never seen it with the plate on it. I've always seen the numbers um, uh, put into the plastic or into the metal, but I've never seen I've never seen that before. That's really cool. It's a D four zero four and has a serial number on it as well. So that's that. Well, let me go grab that other brick top. Oh boy, these things are really heavy. Okay, this is the other brick top. There, and it's a little bit more rustier, but I think this one here might be a little newer. I'm not positive, but the reason why I say that is because of this. It's a, a plastic uh, carburetor uh, box, so and then it has a, a plastic cover too. But the uh, the carburetor is the same as this one on, on this one here. But when you turn this, it's easier because it's it, it's bigger. There. Really good suction, which is good because that means it's, it's going to run. That's what you want. You want good suction. You want um, spark and compression. And that suction, that's the compression. And then the recoil, which will start, whoa-oh. I'm not going to pull that again because I don't, don't want to have to deal with that. Some of the recoils are older and got to be played with a little bit. So I'm going to be careful. I don't want to whack my fingers. I'll let my husband do that. But that's the, that's the brick top. Not a bad machine. They're really not. They're good, good machines. Uh, we like to mow with them. We've mowed with brick tops. We sell them. Uh, we've we've got all kinds of lawn boys around here, and uh, it's just kind of a hobby. So if you like lawn boys, give us a thumbs up. If you uh, like brick tops, if you have a brick top, comment. I've been getting some really cool comments on my videos as well as videos that I've commented on. Um, there's uh, people who have worked in the factories before, people who know people who've worked in the factories. Really cool, interesting comments. Give me more comments. I love that. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like lawn boys, if you like cats, if you like fishing, swimming, camping, all that summer fun. We're going to be doing that more too. So subscribe. Thanks.